Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not as that may be meant for someone else. All right, so I thought I would try something new, um, something different. So what I would do is, I, I'm thinking what I'm gonna look at is what are you struggling with? What are you facing right now? And what's coming in for you? Kind of those energies that are going on. Um, and let's just look at that and let's just see how that goes. So what are you struggling with? It could be relationships. It could be the relationship with yourself. It could be the relationship with other people. Okay. All right. Uh, what are you facing? Okay. I, I feel like this is kind of the... Um, can't think of the word like what you should do what you the energy that you're in now um, kind of suggestions from the universe like what you should do now okay love that and then what's coming in for you oh look at that <laughs> nine of cups <coughs> <coughs> sorry okay so I'm kind of excited about this. I'm feeling like one more. Yeah. Okay. And then bottom of the deck, strength. Okay. Love it. Could be Leo. Okay. I'm excited because I feel like I wanted to do something different with my readings and I feel like I'm always trying to like be your cheerleader and give you that positive energy and giving you ways to look at things. And I just, I just wanted to do something different. And I, I just feel like this is a different way to look at the tarot cards. Okay, so I feel like for what you're struggling with, I feel like it could be relationships and it could be moving on from a relationship. It could be a re kind of thinking about past relationships, relationships that haven't worked or trying to work out a current relationship where it becomes more grounding, where it's more of a friendship. It could be the relationship that you have with yourself. You're struggling with that. You're saying, I don't really know. I, I, I'm really wondering if I am really my, my be own best friend. Like, am I looking out f for myself? Um, I feel like there's something to do with relationships that you're trying to move on from. I feel like you're, tr you know, whatever that represents for you, whether it's past relationships, a current relationship, or you just had a breakup. Um, so it definitely has to do with something with relationships. The, the, um, What's going on with you now or like the suggestions from the universe I feel is um, or the energy that you should look at or be in. I'm not sure how to word it, but I feel like it's taking a rest, taking a break, looking within to find those answers, figuring out what your path is. Like sometimes we're just kind of like maybe you're just like going along and you're like, I don't really know what I want to do. I don't know where I want to go. I don't know where I'm at. I'm not sure what I'm feeling. I just have all of this stuff going on, but I feel like maybe now is the time that you should kind of take a rest and take that time to yourself. And maybe you do need some time to yourself with this Four of Swords and this Hermit card. And that gives you that spark to say, hey, from this point on, I want to look to see where this energy is going and, and what should I do but to take actions to actively take that time to yourself and look within and find those answers and shine that light on what you really want sometimes so I kind of feel like this reading is for that person that's just kind of going through the motions that's just on that sort of hamster reel and it's just kind of going and it has no life to it. Like it has no direction to it. Like you're, you're feeling like you're missing that spark. So I feel like a big part of it has to do with relationships that it's either the relationship with yourself or it's that you're holding on to past relationships or you have relationships, friendships around you that are not, um, that are not positive for you. Okay, so for future energies and what's coming in, I feel like that if you take this time to look within, to find those answers, to find your path, to get that spark 
back. Sometimes we just need to recharge. So it could be that maybe you just need to recharge. That you're able to let go, right, of what was bothering you over here, what was holding you back, and you're able to focus on what is your Nine of Cups and what is it that you want to do. I feel like you're able to see things from a different perspective, right? Because we have the hangman and we have the judgment. So it's like opening your eyes to see that you're not stuck in this energy. Like this isn't where you have to be. And it's you taking control of the situation and you saying, hey, I need to wake up to this. I need to see things different. That you're seeing, hey, I'm looking at things different. That I'm focusing on my nine of cups. That I'm letting go of the three of swords. That yes, it's been exhausting. I feel like this is a uh, a, a journey that's very exhausting emotionally but for overall we have the strength and that's that confidence that your confidence starts building because you're focusing on you and you're taking that time to for you and you're deciding what directions that you want to go in I feel like again I feel like you're just kind of going through the motions and you're not really doing those things for you and I feel like that's what you need to be aware of all right um, so what you're struggling with is moving on from some sort of relationship or having a relationship that is not as chaotic and that it becomes easier, it becomes smoother, it becomes quieter, it becomes, um, calmer. Sometimes we surround ourselves or we're in, we have friends or relationships where it's, there's a lot of energy, like there's a lot of that person brings a lot of energy, uh, sometimes drama, sometimes it, it, chaos, and it's like, oh, you know, this is too much. And it can numb us to where we have no feeling, or it can just stress us till we're ready to explode. This also could be, so we have the Ace of Wands again, so I feel like it's finding that light, finding that fi fire, finding that passion within yourself. It's either within yourself, or is it a relationship that you have with a friend or a partnership where you're like okay we have to get the spark back could be a relationship that's just become kind of um, stagnant and so you want to work on that um, I feel like within this relationship that you need to focus on yourself I feel like because of the energy that's going on with this person that it's causing you to withdraw but I also feel like you need to Get that spark back within yourself and you need to get that back within the relationship or you need to make the choices that are best for you, right? You need to work on yourself. You need to let go of those three of cups and you need to focus on relationship. Definitely has to do with relationships. I feel like that's something that you have to take a look at that you have around you and the relationship that you have with yourself. And again, taking that time to yourself. You shouldn't feel guilty about taking time to yourself and saying, you know what, I just need some time to sort through things and think through things. And process things um, because I feel that that's very important we have the strength card again which can represent Leo but it's also you building your confidence I feel like that's what you need to work on is your confidence your confidence for making decisions and choices that are best for you right that you feel that this relationship is more balanced that it's not always about giving 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 that it's also about you receiving too because you need to have that that's that's what helps you to blossom and feel safe and secure within a relationship but I also feel like it's you making those choices that are best for you definitely I feel like this eight of cups is this over here that I feel that you need to work on that you need to let go of and that once you're going through this process that you're able to do that like you're ready to walk away that you're realizing and by doing that you come into this energy here this future energy which is that you're seeing things from a different perspective and you've opened your eyes to maybe um, habits or you know things that had gone in the past that you know okay it's time for me to change these right it's time to make some changes that this future energy is like you're ready like I'm ready to make some changes right I'm ready to do things differently I'm ready to take control of this situation I'm feeling my power I'm thinking things differently I'm seeing things from a different point of view I'm seeing things in a different way um, and I feel like it really changes your thought process because of everything that you've gone through here and you're just, you know, oh, look at that. I love it. It's kind of crazy how that's been happening lately is that I'll start with a card and then I'll finish with the same card and I love that. 
the relationship that you have with yourself and we, with others becomes stronger. It becomes where it's overflowing with emotions and good and you're feeling happy. And it's because you're looking at things from a different point of view and you've opened your eyes to maybe you were making excuses for people's bad behavior or you were romanticizing about um, a relationship, right? And you're like, oh, I want to go back to it. And then it's like this constant back and forth. But you're like, you know what? I really have to choose what's best for me. Because sometimes what I do and sometimes what you need to do is, is if with the situation that you're having, saying you say, for instance, you're, uh, you keep going back to a relationship, right? That it, it doesn't work and then you guys break up and then, you know, that person contacts you and then you're back together and then it's the same pattern. But if you're, say your close friend, like your best friend was doing that, what is that advice that you would tell to that person? Would you tell that person? Yeah, keep going back to that person. Yeah, keep repeating that process. <laughs> You'd be like, no, like you need to block that person and you need to get away from that person because they're not good for you. They're toxic. It's, it's not helping you. I see that you feel sad and that you feel, you know, you're on this emotional roller coaster. And that's something that you have to tell yourself, right? What advice, if you would give what's going on in your life, say that was happening to somebody that was close to you, what advice would you give to that person? So that's the advice that you should give to yourself. And I feel like it's you looking at that, right? That you're looking at that differently. You're looking at relationships differently. You're looking at the relationship with yourself and others. And I feel like that really changes a lot that you have going on around you. Um, and that can really change your outlook and that can really give you that two ace of wands energy, that new sparks and those new beginnings and those new actions that you take. Bottom of the deck is four of wands and I feel like it's having more of a stable, stable relationships, relationship with yourself and relationship with the, with your others, with others. But that's something that you have to look at. And I feel like you need this time to yourself right now to really look at that and see what you're surrounding yourself with and to make those choices on that direction on where do you want to go from this point on forward, right? Um, where where do you want things to go? Do you want to follow on the same path or do you want to move away from that? And that's something that you have to figure out on yourself. And when you're ready, then you move forward. And I feel like it really changes everything for you. All right, so let's close out. Let's do a Lenormand. All right, this one kind of came out sideways. There we are. I'm not surprised. It's the coffin. So it's about taking that time, taking a rest. I just feel like the biggest message here for you is to take that time out. It's just, you need some alone time. I feel like you have a lot of things going on around you. You have a lot of thoughts. You have a lot of stuff going on. And I feel like you need that quiet time. It could be that, you know, sometimes, you know, if you just drive out to the beach by yourself, or sometimes if you just you know, have that place where you can go, where you can be by yourself to sort out your own feelings. And sometimes it's like um, just driving in the car. Like obviously, like, um, like it takes me 35 minutes to get to the barn. And I like that 35 minutes because I really can process and think about a lot of things in that time that if I was staying at home, I probably wouldn't have thought of those those things, those thoughts, those ideas, those directions, those, you know, and it brings me that calmness. So it could just be that it's just having that time where you can just figure things out. I just feel like that's the big message is you need that alone time to sort through your relationships with others and yourself. And by doing that, that changes the future energy and brings you into that nine of cups energy. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.